Israel is in the crosshairs on the issue of uh, its uh, alleged assistance uh, to Ukraine in the ongoing war. Ukraine's President Zelensky, though, has suggested that the Russian-Iranian alliance has been spurred by Israel's neutral position on the war. Zelensky was speaking to an Israeli conference uh, remotely when he made this pitch. Our correspondent Jody Cohen sent us this report. Israel has sent humanitarian aid to Ukraine and accepted Ukrainian refugees. It sent defensive equipment like helmets and flak jackets and is the only country in the world to have set up and run a field hospital within Ukraine's border. It's reportedly given intelligence on Iranian-made UAVs. An Israeli company also reportedly gives Ukraine information about Russian military positions. And Israel has offered to help Ukraine set up a civilian early warning system for missiles. However, while thanking the Israeli people for its support, Zelensky suggested the government needs to go further. We have been asking Israel for help since 2014, but such is the continuance of politicians. Although if we had immediately secured our skies when faced with a missile and drone threat, Russia would not even have a motive now to go to Iran and offer it something in exchange for assistance in terror. Defense Minister Gantz held a meeting with his counterpart this week in which he reiterated Israel's commitment to the Ukrainian people, but suggested Israel isn't able to provide weapons systems. That's Russia's red line, and with Russia controlling Syrian airspace, Israel has been coordinating with Russia to stop Iran and proxies from getting closer to its border. Leader of the opposition, Benjamin Netanyahu, recently expressed concern that if Israel supplies air defense systems abroad, they could end up in enemy hands. However, he also suggested that if he becomes PM, he would consider the issue of sending military aid. President Zelensky has suggested that Russia may help Iran develop its nuclear program in exchange for Iranian drones. And Prime Minister Lapid has said in an interview with Israeli media that Israel is concerned at the dangerous closeness between Russia and Iran and is holding daily assessments to review its position. Presidents Herzog and Biden are going to be meeting on Wednesday and Ukraine is likely to be on the agenda. It remains to be seen if the U.S. will increase pressure on Israel to supply Ukraine with its air defense systems. This won't be an easy decision. Other countries also have advanced systems and Israel faces security challenges on multiple fronts. Israeli involvement because of Iran could also mean the war in Ukraine could expand. Whoever is prime minister following the elections next week in Israel, they will no doubt be watching closely developments between Russia and Iran. This is Jody Cohen for We On, World as One. Well.